It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the New York Jets and the Carolina Panthers, and it comes your way next on Madden Football. It's been the home of the Panthers since 1996. Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. We welcome you to EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. Carter, these are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. So pleased to have you along. This should be a good one. We're set, and off we go here on EA Sports. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Panthers coming out, and they're led by their quarterback, Bryce Young. Rocky rookie season for the number one overall pick out of Alabama. But, Greg, here's the guy the Panthers hope can get this franchise going in the right direction. When he was taken as the first overall pick in the draft a couple years ago, Mike, certainly was not because of his physical stature. It was because of his mind. It was because of his processing ability. It was because of all the intangibles that they believed they saw in his days coming out of Alabama. Now, he's gotten some experience under his belt from a rookie year that had its ups and downs. He has all the talent in the world. Now he's got to go out and just capture it and make it happen. Look him up on a second down and eight. Tremble comes in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Young. This throw left side taken in by Johnson. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Good work after the catch. They get 16 and a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Nice chunk here in this good-looking drive. Pickup of 14 and a first down. Young hands it to Hubbard. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. He'll try again here. Second and ten. From the gun. And they're going to get to him and take him down taken back to the other side of midfield. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Third and long. Out of the shotgun, Young. And this ball incomplete on third down. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. And that kick goes out of bounds right away. And that is a big mistake because that ball is going to be marked beyond the 40-yard line. Well, the Jets come out with Aaron Rodgers, of course. All the buildup in 2023, it lasted all of four snaps. 
The man is a legend. Super Bowl champ, 10-time Pro Bowler, Greg, his 20th NFL season. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense he's going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. A tight end in motion now. On first down, they go right back to Hall. And he finds a little bit of space. He'll take this forward for a gain of four. Here's a second and six. And the shotgun, it's A-Rod. He's got the longtime charger, Mike Williams. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. the gun Rogers that's right side and brought in by Williams certainly not the biggest play of the day but a good example of picking up positive yardage staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route they'll come up here first and ten working out of the gun it's Rogers a throw left side taken in by Corwin. Rogers. Catch is made. That is Williams. Nice work there after the catch. He's a little short of the first down after a gain of seven. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Conklin goes in motion. We'll try to run for it with Hall. And he didn't need much. I don't think he got there. It's going to depend on the spot. Looks like he is short on that one. That's really well done defensively, Mike. The key to these situations is you got to engage with the blocker, bottle it up, but then you have to get off the block, find the ball, bring him down. That's exactly what they do. No gain, fourth down. Zerline's kick is good. And the Jets are out to an early 3-0 lead. And I think this is going to end up being considered a successful drive, Mike. I think, obviously, you would have loved to see them come down and convert and score a touchdown. But at the very least, they needed to come away with three. They were able to do that and take a lead on that field goal. Raheem Blackshear on the return. Now on the return, he has lost the football. And he's going to take it in for the touchdown. Whoa. Have a friend in the right spot at the right time. The fumble, not a turnover, but a TD. And he'll take it back for the touchdown. 
What a tremendous mistake there. You want to secure the ball and give it to your offense, not give it up to the other team for a touchdown. Yeah, and I think this is the fine line that all kick returners face, Mike. I think they all want to be impact players. When they get the ball in their hands, they think every play can be six. But sometimes you got to know when it's over. you got to make sure at the end of this play, my offense is able to take the field and maintain possession. In this case, not only do you turn it over, you give them a quick touchdown on the other side. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Panthers' offense ready now for their second drive. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. To throw, Young. He'll get this into the hands of Thielen. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Tremble comes in motion. A second down throw for Young. Go right back to Thielen. Again, it's complete. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. They put a receiver in motion to the left. Throwing on second down, Young. Throw to the sideline, well done. Good job with the feet. Stays in bounds, it looks like, and yes, they do have the first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL, you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early and that last pickup leads to a first down. It's been a busy first quarter for him so far. His third catch goes for a first down. They send a receiver in motion left. Young to throw on first and ten. That's right side taken in by Tremble. They'll come up here on second down and five. They'll go play action with Young. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. He'll try to run for it with Hubbard. Mark him right on the 15, and the march continues. That is a first down picked up on the ground. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Tremble comes in motion. Young to throw on first down. This is part of the two. To the goal line and in. Xavier Leggett. Touchdown, Carolina. 
Greg, we better tie those shoelaces tight. We could be in for a track meet. Great start on offense in this one. Yeah, it certainly has, Mike. And I think the biggest thing for this offense is how they've bounced back to some early adversity. They found themselves trailing here in the first quarter, and they cut into that lead. I got a feeling this thing's going to go back and forth, and we're going to have some fireworks ahead of us. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. He's got it. Panthers are on the board. It's 10 to 7. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. Now, here comes a return from the nine. Now an opening past the 30. A good return as he takes it across the 30. The Jets' offense ready for their second possession. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and 10. Off the play fake, Rodgers. He'll get it into the hands of Garrett Wilson. Inside the 20. And he will go all the way. Garrett Wilson. Touchdown, New York. Now Zerline for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Jets will get out in front 17 to 7. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This taken at the 5. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Panthers' offense about ready to take over once more. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. Tremble comes in motion. On first down is Young. This one to the tight end, Tremble. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. On the ground, it's the rookie from UT. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down, it'll go down as a loss of two. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part, coming through again with another big stop for a loss. On, now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. fumble Mike it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball and they talk about the points of pressure and the biggest thing really Mike is you want the front tip of the ball the part where your fingers cover to always be higher than the back tip of the ball so often you see that front tip go down and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out so you want pressure against the outside of the ball both tips the inside of the ball and then keep that front point up A first down throw from Rodgers. Quickly to the outside and complete. 
And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. And he'll bring this inside the 15. That's good enough for the first down. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Rodgers now. This complete to Corley. And the Jets are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Sudden change. So you find yourself defensively a little bit on your heels. Your offense just turned the ball over. Now you've got to go out and make a stand. Well, so far this offense has moved the ball pretty quickly. But can they dig in and at least force a field goal? Rodgers to throw. And he's in. Mike Williams. Touchdown, New York. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Jets up their lead. It's now 24 to 7. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This is fielded inside the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Panthers' offense and their back, Chuba Hubbard, set to come back on the field. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. A run with Brooks to begin this drive. And this will be a Panthers first down as he's able to get it to the 37-yard line. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. On first down, it is Hubbard. A uh, short pickup to the 38. One quarter in the books. The Jets have the advantage. And will return to Charlotte in a moment. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Young. Throw left side, but that's going to be incomplete. Here in the first half, we've seen nothing but connections from these two guys. I mean, they've come out completely on fire, so the defense finally gets a stop, and really the first time we've seen these guys be a little bit off third down and nine All right, now let's get in that end zone. out of the shotgun young he's gonna look for the home run ball pretty clear approach here mike you're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point in this case it falls incomplete but if they continue to get that matchup, 
This quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. Oh, how about that hit? Wow. He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Jets offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. The lead is 17 as they try to maybe pull away in this one. It is first and 10. And that'll be a pickup of three. Second and seven. On the shotgun, it's A-Rod. That's caught by the tight end, Tyler Conklin. First time they've looked his way tonight. Good time to do it. It's a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. The master of play action, Rodgers. Catch made, right side by Wilson. And he will get into the end zone. Garrett Wilson. Touchdown, Jets. His second catch of the game. And both have gone for touchdown. And that is number two. Greg, he is off to some kind of start in this one. Two quarters and two receiving touchdowns. Mike, this is one of those situations where as a defensive coordinator, you've got to give your group an answer because right now they don't have one for this guy. Extra point try now for Zerlock. It's up and through. And the Jets add on one more as they extend their second quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. This drive begins with a run by Hubbard. And he'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. They'll get 11 there. And that's a quick first down. Up until that run, this first half, it's kind of been tough sledding here for this run game. They'd love to see him get going. That last big pickup's going to go a long way. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. On first and 10, here's Young. Throw left side, taken in by Thomas. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. And that'll give him a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three.
to throw is Young. Got a man, it's Thomas. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. That's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. Well, I'll tell you what, Mike, this is one of those times where you really see the evolution of the tight end position, right? It's not the days of just go past the first down, turn around, catch it, and fall. We see so many guys around the league that with the ball in their hand, they're almost more running back than they are tight end. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. He'll come to the line now on second and two. Now whistles here, and a penalty. Looks like somebody moved early up front. Tremble comes in motion. On second down, Young. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. <laughs> and a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. They'll motion the tight end, Thomas. A second down throw for Young. His tight end tremble over the middle. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. This play is actually really well defended here. But I'll tell you, Mike, as you know, my philosophy is the tight end is always open, and this just supports my case. On the give, it's Hubbard. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. They'll go again with Hubbard. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. Running back looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped for no gain. From the gun here on third down, it's Young. And that is incomplete. He was seeking out the veteran Adam Thiel in that top. And it's going to be fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Panthers cut three off the lead, but they still face a sizable deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. Here comes a return from the five. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. There's no doubting the fact, Mike, they've made a clear point in saying we need to get this guy the ball as often as possible. And so far, they've had great success when they have gotten him the ball. I think defensively at some point, you've got to find a way to get this duo out of this rhythm or they're going to be in for a long game. A throw left side taken in by Wilson. A big half continues. Already two touchdowns on the score sheet. 
And here, this grab gets him a first down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down, but as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. From the gun, Rodgers. A pass caught right side by Conklin. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. 18 yards on the pickup there, and the Jets have a first down. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. Set to go now on first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Rodgers. That's caught over the middle, it's Wilson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Give him 10 more on that one. Just enough for another first down. Here's Rodgers. Over the middle, that's Corley. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game, all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch, and exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. The handoff. Here comes Hall. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Another run here with Hall. Well, he shows you the elusiveness getting out of one tackle, but not the other. Fortunate, really, to get back to the line of scrimmage on that play. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss but it's still stopped for no game. On third down, Rodgers. The throw on the run is complete. And this won't be a touchdown, but it will be a first down as they're able to get the conversion and set up first and goal. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times, and then you look back and you're like, Man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but right now they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. He slams it in there, and he is in. Reese Hall, touchdown New York. This defense continuing to give up points. Greg, you've been on offenses like this. This has to feel great when you're on a roll like this. And it's really twofold, Mike. First and foremost, just like you said, every offense in the league works all week. We want to start out fast. We want to establish some early rhythm and play our style of game. They've certainly done that. Now, on the flip side, what does it do to your opponent? It takes them completely out of their game plan, knowing this early in the game, they're chasing points. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. 
On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be taken down as the next drive will begin there. The Panthers' offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. Now Young. That's taken in right side by Leggett. And they bring him down, but not until he crosses midfield. He had their lone touchdown of the game earlier, and he comes through with the catch and a first down in this spot. Two minutes to go here till halftime. Back with more from Charlotte. After this, here's first and ten. Now Young. This one to the tight end, Tremble. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Ten yards the gain on the pitch and catch. It's good for a Panther first down. To throw, Young. That into the hands of Hubbard. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Young. It's on the right side and corralled by Fuel. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Out of the shotgun, Young. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle. And this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. Man in motion, heading left. From the gun, it's Young. Looking left side, his tight end, Tremble. And he will not quite get to the marker. Good job there defensively. And now, decision time. What are you going to do on fourth down? They'll go. Young. He finds the big tight end, Tremble. And he's going to have a Panthers, and he's going to have the Jets. Here's Young to throw. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. Back to throw. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by C.J. Mosley. And 
and the Jets are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. So much of that play comes down to the defender's positioning. Being able to get himself to a spot to get his hands on the ball and a chance at that pick. Mike, when that ball was thrown, me and you are sitting here saying, that's a touchdown, and instead, they force a turnover, and now their offense is back on the field. Garrett Wilson and the Jets offense now heading back onto the field. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And they'll get him down, but not before he takes this across the 30-yard line. That's a gain of 21 to open this drive. So we've reached halftime, and the visiting Jets are in front as we get you down to Florida. Orlando specifically, it's where the coach is, Jonathan Coachman, has our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a solid first half out of the running back, Brees Hall. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. The highlights from the first half, all one-sided. This one got out of hand early, and now you have to wonder how these teams will approach this second half, because this one's already close to being in the bag if it's not already. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Set to return is Xavier Gibson. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. So now, Rodgers and the Jets ready to take over once more. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. From the shotgun, it's a -Rob. That's a short one taken in by Conklin. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Here's second and three to go. Rodgers. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. That one's a Corley. He's got it. 11 yards on the connection there. Good for a Jets first down. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. They'll run it out of the gun, and it's Hall. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven. Looking to throw, it's Rodgers. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. On third and one, here's Rodgers. He's got his man complete to Wilson. Crazy. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. Rodgers finding Wilson for a big one. 36 yards. 
you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Rodgers now. And he'll take it on in. Mike Williams. Touchdown, New York. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Now Zerline for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Jets will add one more onto their big lead. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. They motion a receiver right. Young to throw on first and ten. That one complete to Leggett. Give up the middle, it's Hubbard. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Quinn and Williams there to make the play. Now a third and two. They'll try and run it with Brooks. He's going to have a Panthers first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. The motion man is Sanders. There's a handoff to Hubbard. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. They'll work now on second and four. Another run here with Hubbard. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a gain of about one. Quinn and Williams there to make the play. Here's a third down and four. Tremble comes in motion. Look at play action with Young. That is caught. He finds his big target, Leggett. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. Mike, I think we make so much of all these fancy routes, right? The selling, the head fakes, getting in and out of the break. And while that's really important to create separation, that's really more of a man beater. That's when teams want to just play you one on one and you have to beat the defender. Against zone defense, like we saw here, it's a lot more simpler. Understand the concept of the play. Understand where the holes in the defense are. 
and get there and be friendly to the quarterback. And if you're open, stay open. That's NFL route running. That's what the best guys do. Tremble comes in motion. They'll run it. It's out of the gun, and it's Hubbard. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. They'll motion over Thielen. Young to throw on first down. That's right side, taken in by Tremble. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. 13 yards on the catch there. It's good for a Panther first down. They'll motion over Thielen. On first and ten, here's Young. Catch made by Thielen. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play, winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and he's able to secure a really nice catch. Young going to give it to Brooks. And the Panthers are going to have what looks to be a first and goal. He'll take this down to the 10-yard line. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. This has been some kind of march downfield now. Can they pay it off with six? It's first and goal. He's got it at the three. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front, and he's in. Chuba Hubbard, touchdown, Panther. Well, they get on the board. That pads the individual stats. Makes mom and dad happy. But, Greg, we have seen stranger things. You never know. Yeah, and I think the biggest thing right now, Mike, aside from the scoreboard, oftentimes in the NFL, you learn more about your team in moments like this than you do when everything's going well. So I think this coach is playing real close attention to which one of his guys are going to continue to fight. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Gibson now on the return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. They finally get him down, but he gets all the way up close to the 40-yard line. The Jets offense ready to take over possession of the football. And as we look back at some of the highlights of this one, Greg, definitely a lot to show from the passing game. Yeah, and as good as the offense feels about their passing game, I think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got a lot of learning to do because you just get burned time and time again. You'd think at some point you'd make an adjustment and make a correction. So at this point, they've given up four touch. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. Let's give credit where credit's due. Defensively, finding yourself down by this much at this stage of the game, they could just pack it in. They could say, all right, this one's over. We're moving on to next week. They're continuing to play hard. They're continuing to get after the quarterback. And nice start to this drive. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, Rodgers. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking for Malachi Corley. 
Now it's going to be third down. Really just been a combination of errors here on this drive. I mean, the sack on first down put him in a bad spot. Then the incompletion there trying to gain it back on second. And now they find themselves in a critical third down here. Or they're facing a three and out. Third and long for Rodgers. And this drive is over before it can start. He's swallowed up to force fourth down. Outside of a turnover, this was probably the worst case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. On fourth down, here comes the veteran Thomas Morstead to punt. Amir Smith-Marset goes back to return it. This returnable from inside his own 40. Oh, hello! He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. To throw is Young. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. He'll try to run for it. And the quarterback scrambling maneuvers his way back to the line of scrimmage. But that's all he can get out of that one. Give him credit for keeping this play alive as long as he could. This easily could have gone down for a loss, but he's kind of able to find his way forward and at least get back to the line of scrimmage. Hunting time for the Panthers. Set to kick this one away as he'll come on to punt this one away. And great coverage on special teams. They'll mark it down inside the five-yard line. First down for Aaron. There's that man again. Another catch. Working out of the gun, it's Rogers. Now he'll run. You know, Mike, nice job here by the quarterback just understanding on these early downs, you just don't want to go backwards. So he's able to avoid the negative play, pick up a little bit, and mostly avoid the sack. Third and five. Now Rodgers. That is incomplete, but there is a flag down. Big call here. It was third down. First and ten. They'll run. This is Hall. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five.
throwing Rodgers. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking for Garrett Wilson there. Third down coming up. How often do we see teams kind of nurse these big leads, Mike, especially as the game unfolds? They turn to the ground game. They try to slow everything down. Well, not this offense. They refuse to take their foot off the gas. They're still mining for explosive plays. And frankly, with the way today's gone, I don't blame them. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. Two receptions for him on this drive. This one, good for 16 yards. Now, so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem, and plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there, and that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. A-Rod down to throw on first down. That's right side and brought in by Williams. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Give up the middle with Hall. First down, a pickup of four. He'll go again with Hall. He'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. Again, here's Hall. That was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down. Rodgers to throw. The pass caught right side by Conklin. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. He is two for two. That kick is good and the Jets will add to their lead here in the fourth quarter I think at this point in the game Mike when you have things under control not only were they able to hold on to the ball for a while they still were able to manage to add three points a safe kick taken at the five and he is stopped at the 25 the drive will begin there the home team's offense getting set to get back to work. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. That catch puts him over the 100-yard mark here tonight. And it gives the team a first down. From the gun, it's Young. 
Catch made right side by Thomas. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Give them 14 on that one. It's a Carolina first down. Now, this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers, everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. Second and a yard. Young hands it to Hubbard. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. A gain of 16 yards. It's a Carolina first down. Well, this is the advantage to having a really effective passing game, Mike, as the defense now tries to adjust to stopping you through the air. It's a lot easier to mix it up and run the ball. There's a lot less defenders in there trying to stop you. On first down is Young. This throw left side taken in by Johnson. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. On the bootleg, it's Young. He's going to run it. Well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short game. Out of the shotgun, Young. That hauled in at the two. And he is close to the pylon, but they say he's not in. But he's got the next best thing. No touchdown, but a first down. It's first and goal. Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. And looked like he may have had a lane, but the defense shut it down quickly. He did not get in, and he'll be second down. This defense is able to get the hold here on first down, Mike, but they might have to do it three more times. I think if I'm this offense, I'm saying this is four down territory. I've got three more shots to gain one yard. Here you go. They're trying to run it. It's Hubbard. And he will power his way into the end zone. Cuba Hubbard. Touchdown, Carolina. That his second touchdown tonight. Well, it's not going to be enough, but at least they find the end zone at the end of a hard week's work. At least a little payoff with a touchdown, Greg. Mike, you can just chalk this one up in the column of too little, too late. Give credit to this offense for not going down without a fight, but they're not going to have enough time to find themselves back in this one. Now, Pinheiro to add on the extra point. It's up and good. And the Panthers are able to cut into the deficit. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This one taken at the seven. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. And you think back to the first half, Mike, just how well he threw the ball, and you thought maybe this defense would come up with some answers in the second half to slow him down. But so far, that has proven to not be the case. The drive begins with a run, and it's all.
They'll stick with him again. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. A gain there of 16 yards. And the Jets have a first down. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. On first down, they go right back to Hall. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. the shotgun it's a rock They'll get about six before he's taken down they'll come up to third and three on play action rogers He's got his man. Right side. It's complete. 16-yard pickup on that one. Good for a Jets first down. And that throw just seems like the cherry on top of what has been an incredible day for this quarterback. And I wouldn't be surprised here late if we get to see the backup after this drive. And there's one guy in the stadium that has earned the right to stand on the sideline and relax. It's this quarterback. They'll come up here first and ten. They will run it over center with Hall. And the defense was ready for him this time. Did not have the same room to run. That one's no game. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. Rodgers here on second down. To get this complete, it's Williams over the middle. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Third and short yardage, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. And this is not going to be enough. He is short of the marker. And they have turned it over on downs. The home team's offense ready to get back at it. They'll begin with first and ten. Here's Young to throw. He runs with it. A great job of knowing when to go. He gets 17 yards on that run and a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. Here's the pistol snap to Young. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it'll lead to a second down. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the past. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. 
Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. From the gun here on third down, it's Young. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. They'll send him over to the left. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. That's taken in. And he's going to have a Panthers first down. They come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving. And then some. Some teams just have a stronger appetite for being willing to go for fourth down tries. Even on their side of the field, Mike, and we're seeing it so much more often, the days of just punting the ball back and forth and saying, hey, we're going to play good defense. Remember, the better your defense, that doesn't mean you should punt. The better your defense, the more chances you should take on offense. On first and ten, here's Young, and he does a nice job to avoid the initial wave. They're going to get him down behind the line. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, here's a second and 12. To throw, Young. A short one there, caught by Tremble. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here's third and seven. Back to throw. Young. He's got it at about the eight. And they are in great shape. He's taken down inside the ten. Ball sitting at the seven. First and goal. To throw is Young. He pulls it in around the five. And he's going to be stopped at about the four. So they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They call them green grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you're going to stay on the run. If you're not looking at the quarterback, that tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your chest. That. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. We do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. So now the Panthers and Young will attempt the two-point conversion. Now they'll set up to throw. That's pulled in, and they're able to tack on the two-point conversion. Mike, I think all of us can remember exactly where we were during a certain Super Bowl where throwing the ball this close to the goal line ended up being a disaster. But unlike that time, they ran this pass play to perfection, and the result? Two points.
This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. Brees Hall making his way back out there as the Jets are on offense again. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. They'll run it out of the gun. And it's Hall. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Now a timeout for Carolina. That's going to be their second Get the stoppage with just over 50 seconds to go in this one. Here's a second and six. Another run here with Paul. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. The Panthers, they're going to burn their third and final timeout. They get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining here in the fourth. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. for the visiting Jets. They got out of the gates hot, ran out to the big first quarter lead, and did not look back as they cruise in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Charlotte, Good night, everyone.